Hey, thank you so much for having me out here today. I wish I could be there live with you, but I'm down in Southern California right now, but I appreciate everybody's support of this financial literacy event and helping us get this into the community. And to start off today, I wanna to share a little brief story with you. And a few months back, I was reminded by a student what it felt like the first time to drive. And he was sharing his experience with me. It's a real funny experience. But I thought back to what my first experience was like driving a car. And I still remember this like yesterday. My dad took me out to this big, wide open parking lot. There must have been maybe two, three, four, five light poles. And the parking lot was the size of at least a football field. And I still remember, anytime I'd get within 20, 30, 40 feet of one of these light poles, I would get sweaty. My hands would get sweaty. My stomach would tense up. I would get nervous and I would just grip the wheel. I had a death grip on this thing. Now, I'm very grateful my father just didn't throw me out on the freeway, say, hey, go take the 405 and just you'll figure it out in, in after a couple hundred miles. Instead, he took me to a place that was safe, secure, and I can build those skills, get the knowledge and gain the confidence I needed to go out there and not get in a car accident. You know, today, every day, young adults are going out into their own life, start their own life, either college or just move out on their own. And we're not providing them the skills they need to avoid those wrecks. And even a little mistake like credit can cost them a lot of money and follow them around for many, many years to come. I know that experience myself. I went through my own challenges financially. You know, when I was 18, I started out real well, bought my first piece of real estate. Before I was 23, I had several businesses, stock investments, real estate, you know, things were going really, really good. But at 23, I lacked the foundation knowledge I needed with finances. And it cost me pretty much everything I, I had, especially that lifestyle. It cost me that lifestyle and that, that really was a blow to me. Now, it took me a few years to recover, but I remember waking up in the middle of the night worried about how I was going to pay the bills. It put strain on my relationships. It made me eat unhealthy food. You know, I went to a lot of places that offered 29 cent tacos, the cheapest burgers in town, whatever. I just needed food cheap. So it affected my life outside of just money. And on my comeback up out of that situation, I had a great opportunity to talk with 20,000 people from across the country about their personal financial situation. And let me tell you, man, the stories I heard from these people, they were heartbreaking. Those kept me up at night as well. I thought I had it bad, but some people were in even worse shape than I did. But I paid close attention to what was going on and where they were making their mistakes and what I found is they were making the same mistakes I did. They did not have the skills and knowledge or the confidence to go out there and make financial decisions. And when they were in a bad financial uh, position, instead of making proper moves, they froze. They gripped that steering wheel and they did not make those moves. Now, my point with that all is, <clears throat> you guys are here for more than just financial literacy. You're here more than just helping these students get money knowledge you know this affects people uh, in a variety of areas of their life so I'm very grateful for your support for the entire community support of being out here because you're making a direct impact on the lives of these young adults that can extend through many areas of their lives and I want to take a moment out to say a special special thank you to the people putting this on it's been such a pleasure working with Natalie, Lauren, and Lexi on this project. I'm just amazed at what they've been doing, what they've been able to put together, and it's just an honor for me to be able to work with them. And please, if you can give them a big round of applause. If you're done clapping, I don't know, this is recorded, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I also want to thank all you people out there, teachers, the parents, I know the mayors there, superintendent, everybody that's out there from the community. We thank you so much for what you're doing and being here and supporting this financial literacy initiative. Now, I want to share with you a little bit about the Money X live event and what you're going to see out there in your community. It's an event, first thing you'll probably notice is the concert style production, the lights, the stage, the sound show, the celebrity sports stars, and the action and excitement. 
But if you dive under a couple levels, if you look deeper into it, you're going to find uh, uh, an event that gives real world practical financial information in a way today's youth relate to. It meets national curriculum standards for financial literacy training. And our goal with this event is not only to ha let them have fun, let them pick up these skills, but to really motivate, inspire, and encourage them to do things that they want to do and be able to afford it by picking up these money skills, by picking up the knowledge, and by picking up the confidence so they have free time to spend with their family, friends, loved ones, make a difference in their community. It's a lot bigger than just financial literacy. And I want to uh, also say a little something to the parents out there today. I know there's a lot of parents and, and students out there, and I thank you for this. And one of the real important things that you can do to help leverage this event and the effectiveness is really open up the lines of communications with your student or with your uh, loved ones about money. Oftentimes, this is a subject that isn't talked about. And if you can open up those lines of communications with them, it helps quite a bit. Now, a gift to you for everybody that's attending, everybody that's supporting this event, everybody gets our video, 54-minute video, Money Smart Parent. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you pick up some simple tips that will help you open up those lines of communication. Now, I also want to give you one tip tonight for everybody, and not just parents, everybody that's there. One of the most important things we can do is set family financial goals together. Now, look at sports teams, corporations, other organizations. They're out there, and they're successful, and they're making a difference because an entire team is out there pushing toward one common goal. And I want your family to get into this one common goal, especially financially. Now, we can start off with real simple ways. For instance, if, uh, you know, maybe there's a, a special place you all like to go out to dinner. Maybe money's tighter. Well, you can have something where, hey, if we can cut back the electricity bill, you know, over the next three months by 50 bucks, we can go out there as a celebration. You know, you're, you're, you're helping them develop these goals, financial goals, and you're enjoying the reward together. You can set longer term goals where you cut down expenses over time or earn more money over time. Everybody pitches in. Maybe you want to go on a family trip. These are all things you can do together. And parents, <clears throat> one big thing I want you to do too is, is share where you're at with your children. You know, maybe you have a retirement goal. Maybe you want to retire at 63. Well, get them involved. Get them on that same mission, that same cause, because they want to support you. Going around the country, I've talked to a lot of students. And one of the main things that they always say is, I want to help my parents. That's one of the main things. So if you can get them aligned with your financial goals, then when you do retire, you can all celebrate together as a family. And once again, I hope that tip helps. That's something very important to me. And uh, I'm looking forward to coming to your community. I'm looking forward to making a big, big impact and sharing practical, real-world financial knowledge. Once again, it's, it's great to go to a place where I'm welcomed with open arms and there's such support like I've heard about here. And I look forward to meeting you all in person. And once again, I thank you for your support.